Good morning. I thought I'd do a video about a very common condition in newborn boys and little boys called undescended testicle and retractile testicle. Both of these conditions are different from each other and not related to each other either. However, in both of them, testicles can be very difficult to feel in the scrotum. Each of these conditions can be either unilateral, which means one testicle can be affected, or bilateral, which means both testicles can be affected at the same time. Let's discuss undescended testicles first. On my previous video on inguinal hernias, the link of which I have put up here, I have mentioned that the normal testicles, when the boy is the mother's tummy during pregnancy as a fetus, the testicles form around where our kidneys are in the tummy. And as the fetus grows in size, or the little boy is growing in size in mother's belly, the testicles start coming down on both sides. So I can, you can see over here, I've drawn the testicles in red and the, with the arrow, with the green arrow, I've shown it coming down. And as the baby grows, 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 it comes down and the lower part of our tummy is a little tunnel or a little passage from inside the tummy coming to the outside muscles called the inguinal canal. Again, the anatomy of this and the purpose of this is all explained in my video on inguinal hernias above. Testicles will go through that inguinal canal from inside the tummy, come to outside the tummy, just underneath the skin and the fat, and then will drop into the scrotum around the time of birth. So a week or two before or within a few days after birth, they will drop into the scrotum. Sometimes it does not happen this way and the testicles do not drop into the scrotum. Either one side or both sides do not come into the scrotum at birth or within six months of birth. So if the testicles are not present in the scrotum within six months of birth, then it is called undescended testicle. All infant boys are examined and the scrotums are examined when they are born. The reason the little boy's scrotum is so small because they do not have testicles in there to start off with. And when the testicles go into the scrotum, with time the scrotum will increase in size as the testicle grows. When the testicle has not descended into the scrotum, one of the telltale signs is the scrotum on that side remains very small. If the testicle has not come down into the scrotum, it could be present anywhere from up there all the way down here. But the commonest place for it to be present is in the bottom of the groin. So the doctor will examine the scrotum and will not be able to find one of the testicles or both of the testicles. He might be able to feel the testicles higher up in the scrotum or as a lump into the groin, which can be felt with the hand. Sometimes if the testicle is inside the tummy, which is luckily not very common, then he will not be able to feel the testicles either in the groin or in the scrotum. So what causes undescended testicle? In many cases, the cause remains unknown. However, there can be a family history of undescended testicles either in the father or the other brothers. Premature infants have a high risk of developing undescended testicles, especially infants who are born at 37 weeks of pregnancy, because that is the time when the testicle is coming down from the tummy into the groin, into the scrotum. So if the baby is born early, they remain into the groin and haven't got the time to come into the scrotum. Ladies have their ovaries in the tummy. Why do men need to have the testicles outside the body in the scrotum? The reason is because testicles are very sensitive to temperature. If they are kept in a very warm environment, then the testicle will start losing their function and the individual will become infertile. That is why in cold weather, to keep them slightly warmer, the scrotum shrinks closer to the body and in hot weather, the scrotum hangs down to keep the testicles away from the body so they stay slightly cooler. Too high a temperature in the testicles or too low a temperature can both compromise testicular function. The reason we worry about undescended testicle is because if the testicles do not come into the scrotum by the age of six months, 
and certainly by the age of one year then the testicle will start losing its function and there is a risk of infertility especially if the testicles are undescended on both sides the second risk is slightly increased risk of testicular cancer and if god forbid testicular cancer does happen in these patients and the testicle is high up in this in the groin or in the tummy then the person will not be able to feel a lump in the testicle which is indicative of a testicular cancer and testicular cancer might not be able to be picked up early enough for treatment how do we diagnose undescended testicle a simple examination of the genitals of the scrotum and the groins will make a diagnosis of undescended testicle because testicles are not present in the scrotum they can be quite frequently felt at the top of the scrotum right in the groin over here if at times it can be difficult to feel especially if the baby is chubby or overweight then they can be a bit difficult to feel because the testicles in newborn are quite soft and if there is a lot of fat around the groin area or lots of tissue around the groin area then they can be a bit difficult to feel in that case an ultrasound scan of the groin and the scrotum will show where the testicle is if the testicle is inside the abdomen and has not come through then a keyhole operation to look inside the abdomen will show the testicle sometimes in these patient the testicle does not develop or is very very small and even with the keyhole operation the testicle cannot be seen because the testicle is literally not present treatment of undescended testicle is an operation called orchidopexy if the testicles have not come down into the scrotum by the age of 6 months then they are unlikely to come down and the operation should be performed as soon as it's convenient afterwards certainly should not be left for very long because the sooner it is brought down the better the chance of saving the function of the testicle most testicles because they are in the groin are cut in the groin the testicle is mobilized on its blood vessels and can be brought down into the scrotum a second cut is made into the scrotum and the testicle is fixed to the inside of the scrotum by about three sutures all the sutures used in a baby are dissolvable sutures so they do not need to be removed in a few days time if the testicle is in the abdomen and has not come down then they can be a bit difficult to bring down into the scrotum they are usually mobilized with a keyhole operation with a through the belly button a camera is put in and with a keyhole operation the testicle is brought down at times can be difficult to bring it down in one go into the scrotum and at first go the testicle is pulled down into the groin where it is sutured and in a few months time the testicle can be brought down into the scrotum if however the time of the operation whether it is open operation or keyhole operation the testicle is found to be very atrophic which means it is very soft very very small and hardly any function left then it's not worth saving the testicle because the risk of developing testicular cancer in the future is the best option is to remove the testicle what are the main complications of surgery the main complication of surgery like any other operation obviously is infection can happen in the wounds etc however the most significant complication is when the testicle is mobilized it can lose its blood supply and hence can become very small and shriveled and might need to be removed in the future because it loses its function lastly i'm going to very briefly discuss about a very very common condition in young boys called retractile testicles completely harmless condition in which the testicles are very mobile and due to cold weather sometimes stress anxiety excitement the testicles can move up into the neck of the scrotum so they get pulled up and the scrotum feels empty parents get concerned because they cannot feel the testicles of a child when they get concerned they take the child to the doctor and when the doctor tries examine the child because it's stressful time for the child the, the testicles get pulled up and they, the doctor can't even feel the testicles in the scrotum the difference between retractile testicle and descended testicles is if you gently examine the child calm the child down the testicles can be pulled down to the base of the scrotum 
which cannot be done in undescended testicles without treatment. Also, if the child is in the bath, when the testicle is relaxed, the scrotum is relaxed, the child is relaxed, there is warm water outside. If the parent tries and examines the scrotum, they, they will be able to feel the testicle in the scrotum. Retractile testicles do not require any treatment and the child will grow out of it and the testicles will stay in the scrotum. It does not affect or put the child at any risk of infertility, testicular cancer, etc. I hope you parents found this video informative. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section. I do my best to answer your questions. Please remember to like and subscribe. I'll be most grateful to you. Thanks for watching again. See you soon. Take care.